commissioned a uh, following your commission I should say on the wellbeing and policy report in 2014 what progressive steps have occurred as a result of that and that's the first part but also what would you like to see happen to continue the momentum moving forward in that recognition of the importance of happiness and well-being well I'm glad you asked me about it because it's not as well known as it should be this is a report chaired by Gus O'Donnell, the former cabinet secretary uh, in the United Kingdom um, with Angus Deaton who won the Nobel Prize in economics recently and, and uh, two or three others of us um, called Wellbeing and Policy, uh, published by the Gartner Institute. Um, I do hope more people will read it than, uh, uh, they, uh, than, uh, than have already. Um, and I think the effect of these things is drip drip. I, I don't think one can say, oh yes, this changed because of that. Uh, there's a whole tide of, uh, uh, of thinking which is taking people's feelings more seriously in our society. Uh, more psychological awareness, uh, more generally, not just mental health awareness, but uh, of in, more interest um, in the emotional uh, quality of people's uh, experience. Um, I think, incidentally, that this is mainly due to the increased influence of women in our society, and uh, this is going to be a continuing trend as they take over. Um, so. Uh, it, it, it's a sort of unstoppable force, but it's very slow. It's very, very slow. Uh, and of course, uh, we would all love to see it uh, going faster. Um, some of us have founded a movement called Action for Happiness, which is uh, aiming to make this go faster. So it, it is actually not just an advocacy movement, but it's much more uh, a, a movement of, of of members um, uh, forming as it were congregations of people uh, who meet locally regularly um, to uh, inspire each other and be inspired and uplifted with the feeling of something bigger in the world than just themselves. Mm -hmm.